Hi, it's Paul here from Atkins Technicolor. I'm going to show you how to make an action to add a watermark to a lot of photographs so you can automate the process. Now, we're doing it on low resolution files so that they can go up on the web. You're going to need two things. You're going to need a folder of images that you want to process and you're going to need a folder made up called Processed Actions. Now, I, I really insist on this when when starting out making actions because it's important that you give the action a destination so you don't accidentally overwrite files, your you, you know, your good original files. So let's hop over to Photoshop. Now this will work in CS4 or just about any Photoshop that has actions as an option. So that's back before CS. I've got two things open here. The image on the right is the image we need to start recording on because you need to go through all the steps to record an action. The image on the left is my logo. Now that could be typed. You could simply type copyright XYZ photography. We could use it for the same thing, but the sizing is critical. So what I have here, the logo I've sized up at 200 by 200 pixels. And this original here, I'll just check what size we've got that. So that image size there is, that's quite a large file. So what we're going to do is record an action firstly to reduce it, well the first step of the action will be cutting it down. So you can work from your 12 megapixel files and this will do the job. So let's make a new action, call it watermark for web. We hit the record button, a little red button goes up here. That means anything we do will be recorded. So just be careful, you can stop the recording and do something else, but everything you do will be recorded from now on. So let's resize the original first. File, Automate, Fit Image. This will reduce it so the longest dimension, whether it be horizontal or vertical, is 400 pixels. Okay, let's go and pick up this. We'll go Select All, Edit Copy, go over to this document, Edit Paste, and it'll put it straight in the middle. Now let's give it a bit of a 3D effect so it looks like it's embossed a bit. I'm going to use Filter, Sketch, Bass Relief, but you could use Stylize Emboss if you like. This gives it a bit of a 3D effect. Let's go back to our Layers palette, and let's you can see that added layer there. Let's reduce the opacity way down. Don't be afraid to drop it quite low. Um, whoever takes this file and wants to print it, they're going to get this no matter how much they try and artwork. It would be a very nasty thing to get rid of. Let's flatten it. Go back to our action palette. You can see all these steps being recorded. Let's convert it to sRGB for the internet. Convert to profile, sRGB, file, save as. And let's go straight over to that processed actions folder. We're going to choose a, a level four. Let's give them something really small. And finally, let's close the document down and stop it. Stop the recording by hitting that little square to the left of the, the round button. That's your stop button. You can see all the steps there. Now, let's run this action. First, before we run it, let's get rid of that one image we used to make it up. Okay, file, automate, batch, there's our action from my set to watermark for www. We'll choose this folder, we're going to go and pick the folder called JPEG, which is the three images I want to process. We're going to leave override action open off. You would do that if you had all the files open on screen you wanted to add the watermark to. We're going to turn off leave, we're going to turn off include all subfolders. This stops the program from drilling down inside folders. That can be really nasty. Suppress file open and suppress color profile warnings. We'll leave both of them on so the action runs freely. We're going to take the destination to none because as you remember we recorded a step. The saving step. If we go OK, that will now run the action on those files. Go to the process actions folder, select them all, and we're going to float our windows here and you'll see the action has now been run and the automark is on every single image. Well, thank you for listening.